All right, we're live. Happy Lightroom Thursday. It's that time of the month where I do a Lightroom stream dedicated to the Lightroom channel on Facebook um, for the third Thursday of the month. And we're here. Hello, John Kennedy. Hello, Colleen, all the way from uh, South Africa. Great to have you all here and seeing all the people coming into the room. So today I'm going to do a topic, and it may sound familiar because I kind of did something similar back in May for the May Lightroom. And it was um, back then I called it how to do collaborative proofing, and we were using Lightroom Classic, and I was showing you how to do it there. Then, of course, I got a bunch of questions. People asked, well, how would I do that if I don't have Lightroom Classic, if I'm just using Lightroom Mobile or if I'm just using... Uh, the Lightroom desktop, the new one that's cloud-based. I'm just using Lightroom on my iPad. How would that work? Luckily, for the most part, it works the same. But I decided to go ahead and do it anyway as a stream for you guys to learn how to do it no matter which Lightroom you're using, whether it's Lightroom Classic, you can go back and look at that one in May, or Lightroom, the new one um, that's cloud-based um, that we're going to show it from the desktop today. So uh, lots of good people coming into the room. Hello, Blue. Hello, Amat. Uh, hello, Sky. Hello, Steve. Hello, Valder. Valder, I think I'm used to seeing you on the other screen. Hello, Philip. Philip. Uh, Leo, Victoria, Tatiana, Tata, Tatanda, and Joshua. So hopefully I didn't mispronounce your names, but let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the computer. I've got Lightroom, the new desktop version, running um, in the background here, and I've got a album. So keep in mind, there's a slightly different naming nomenclature between the versions. So in classic, we would call it a collection. In Lightroom uh, desktop and mobile, we call it an album. So basically, this is a custom thing you create to organize your photos. And you'll notice, uh, if I get out of the way, we'll notice that it's called Hilton Head Sunrises. And this is a collection of, I've been to Hilton Head now two years in a row for vacation. This is a collection of sunrises from both years. So that's the whole point of having an album versus, or a collection versus a folder of images for each year. You have albums so that you can organize photos no matter where they came from in a collection or album that you want to see them in. So that's the whole point when people ask, well, why do I even need collections or albums? That's why. So you can do your own organization. All right. So um, with that said, I want to now share this. Let's pretend this was for me, but let's pretend it was for a client. And I want to share this and get feedback. I want to see which ones the client would want me to retouch, which ones the client likes best, so forth and so on. So how does that whole process work? And that's what we're here to talk about today. So first and foremost, the first thing you need to know is that while Lightroom in the web has always had a sharing feature, that's not what this is. We're not going to talk about sharing an album. You, yes, you can share an album. You can give out a URL. People can go look at your photos. You can even enable downloading and, and comments. You can do all of that with the traditional built-in sharing. But that's not collaborative proofing. That's not proofing. So if you were just going to share the album, you could right-click on it. You can click Share and Invite. You can either enable sharing and share it to specific people that you put in email addresses for or just create a link that you give out to anybody that you want to have it. That's not what we're doing. So we're going to cancel that. To do the collaborative proofing, the, the client proofing that we're here to talk about today, you actually do that via the web, the web version of Lightroom. Yes, there's a web version of Lightroom. So I know it's going to be, it's, it might look confusing because they look so similar, but I'm going to switch over to the web browser. I think I just have an empty page there. So we know it. this is Google Chrome. And now I'm going to type in Lightroom adobe.com so lightroom.adobe.com is the url that you go to and if you're signed in with your adobe id you'll see the same album so if i scroll down to my hilton head album hilton head sunrises those are the same ones and the interface looks almost identical to lightroom on the desktop the new version um, so the web new version and mobile are we're trying to make them look as close as possible so that way no matter which one you're working in you know where things are Okay, so what's the difference? I, I came here 
I can share an album just like I showed before by clicking the little person icon up here in the upper right corner, but that's not what we want. What we want is not up there. It has nothing to do with sharing an album. We want to come all the way down. I'm going to have to move it out of my way here because I'm kind of blocking it. We're going to come all the way down to the lower left-hand corner, and there's an icon called Proofing. And I think it's cut off. Let me bring the browser up just a little bit. See if I can hover over it. Is it going to give me the name again? It gave it to me just a second ago. Well, anyway, there, there it is. Okay, so proofing. That's that little icon, third icon from the left on the bottom. So this is just to, to do your adaptive thumbnails. This is to change how your images are displayed. And this one is for proofing. So this third icon is the one we want. And of course, this one is for sort order. So I'm going to go ahead and click on proofing, and that'll bring up a whole new dialog box. Now, if for whatever reason, before we go any further, you're not seeing that icon down there when you go to Lightroom Web, this is a technology preview. So this is not a fully done feature yet. So if you don't have it, it could possibly mean that you don't have the technology preview feature turned on. So to do that, go to your Lightroom icon and you would go to technology previews in the upper left corner and then you would enable collaborative proofing. So there's a checkbox for it. I think on most accounts, it's probably enabled by default, but for whatever reason, if it's not there, this is where you go turn it on. All right, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna go to the proofing icon. And now proofing is a on or off kind of thing. So right now it's off for every album, it's off by default. We're gonna go ahead and turn it on. That will generate a brand new custom link for proofing. This has nothing to do with the album sharing. So even if I had shared this album with a bunch of friends before, that's a different link. So keep in mind your sharing link and your proofing link are totally different. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose one more option before we go to the link, and that is limit the selection of photos. This is another thing you don't get with standard sharing. With standard sharing, people can just see everything and comment on everything and do everything. But this is saying, hey, I'm going to share 100 photos with my client, but I, I, you know, contractually or, or for the package they purchased, whatever, whatever your situation is, I'm allowing them to select 10, 20, 25, whatever your number is. So I'm going to say I'm, I'm allowing my client to select 10. And yes, you can type the number in. You don't have to use the arrows. Okay, so now I've said, this is my album. My client can select up to 10. Right now there's nothing there because I did not, no one's seen this yet. I'm gonna copy this link and then you would share it however you want with your client. Put it in an email, send it as a text message because it works on mobile too. Um, Messenger, Facebook, what, however you send your client link. So email is probably what's gonna happen. Now, we're going to switch gears. I'm going to switch hats. If I had on a hat, I'm now going to turn off my photographer hat and I'm going to turn over to the client hat. Now, if I bring up this, this album in my current browser window, it's just going to say, you're Terry White. It's your photos. That's not really a good experience. So I want to pretend I'm not Terry White. I want to pretend I'm the client. So for that, I'm gonna choose a new incognito window, which basically has no cookies, no login, no nothing. It's basically as if I'd never logged in to Creative Cloud. And then I'm gonna paste that link in. So now I'm pretending I'm the customer. So I paste that link in, it shows me the photos. And even on the right-hand side, it says sign in to proof the photos. Now, what that means is they can look, they can click on the photos. They can um, scroll around, but they really can't make any selections unless they sign in with their Adobe ID. Wait, Terry, wait, wait. My customer doesn't even know anything about Adobe. What do you mean an Adobe ID? Currently in this technology preview, that is the requirement. They don't have to buy anything, but they do have to go set up an Adobe ID. Now, they can go set one up, which is great. If they already have one, even better. Or you can make one for them if you have an extra email address. But keep in mind, 
every album you get, if you make it, it's going to be from that same account. So just keep that in mind. Um, so I'm going to say sign in to proof the photos. And when I sign in, it's going to ask me, hey, what's your Adobe ID? So I have made one up called proofs at Terry White Photography. Make sure I type this right. Dot com. And then I'm going to put in a super secret password that I always forget. <laughs> Hopefully I got it right. Uh huh. Let's see. Uh huh. All right. That should be it. Let's see if it works. Yay, I got it. Okay, so I typed it the right way. Okay, so now it's saying, okay, you're signed in. You have zero of 10 photos selected. So let's say I'm now the client. I, I kind of like this one. So I click on it to make it bigger. And I now click the yes, this is one that I want. So they at any time they can go in and check off ones they want or uncheck ones they don't want. So with that said, um, I could either navigate to the next photo, navigate to the next photo, navigate to the next photo, or I can get out of the zoomed in view and scroll. Maybe that's faster to get, like I, I picked the one out of that category I want. Now I want to go down to this one. So, ooh, I kind of like that one with the lone drone pilot. I think that's me <laughs> off to the side there. We'll go ahead and select that one. Okay, get out of it. And then I can scroll down and some of these were for HDR. Oh, I really like this one of the lone person all by themselves. Let's, that one's really nice. Let's, oops, I got out of it. Hang on, I didn't check it. Let's go back. Okay, let's do that one. There we go. Let's check that one. So three of 10, it's always telling the client how many they have and how many they have left. And again, they can navigate them through one by one or they can go in and um, zoom in, zoom out. So let's say I pick four. <laughs> That's me again, goofing off on the beach. Ooh, I like the one with the birds. Let's do five, six. That's six. Ooh, let's go back to the birds one. Yep, I did that one. So it tells me that's one I did. It's even giving me a little like closed shape to let me know. Actually, that's my um, that's my icon since I don't have an icon for my proofing Adobe ID account. And I like that one. Okay, so two more. Skip that one, skip that one, skip that one, skip that one. Let's say I like this one. And one more, I'm at the end already, so I gotta go back if I want one more of these. Let's say I really like this one. All right. So now, I've reached my 10 of 10. If I want more, I gotta uncheck something first. Okay, great, done. Client's done, they close the window, they move on. How do you as the photographer know that they even did this? Maybe they did this in the middle of the night. Maybe they did this three days later. How do they know? How do you know you they how do you know they did it? Well, there should be, I'm gonna check my phone now. There will be a notification on your mobile device letting you know that in Lightroom um, that someone has made their selections. I don't see it just yet, but it pops up. So I, I, I'll show it to you when it pops up, if it pops up before the stream's over. So that's how you'll get notified if you haven't been paying attention. If you just want to check, maybe you missed the notification, maybe you're impatient, maybe you don't know that the notification came in. How would you know? If you go back, if you go back to that same album and just simply refresh it, it'll show you what they picked. And it'll show you, um, you know, the activity that you got on that one. So it shows me the 10 photos that they picked. And now I'm saying, okay, that's great. I'm not going to remember which ones those are. That's, that's great that it's showing it to me. But I need a little bit more than that. I need it to do something besides just show it to me. And the beauty of this interface, I love this feature. Whichever engineer added this, thank you there's a create an album button right here. So that way you get to create an album from those ones that they picked right off the bat. You can either create a new one or add them to an existing one. So maybe you sent the link out to multiple people and you want to add them in um, to the same album. It's up to you. So I can go ahead and click create. It's going to say, do I want to add to an existing album or create a new one? So I want to create a new one. I'm going to create a new one called um, My Client Picks. 
and you know that would be the name of the client but instead i'll just say my client picks add them to that album updating and there's a new album called my client picks all right um and thomas i did show that earlier you do it on the website he's asking is there can i show how to enable the technology preview click on the lightroom icon in the upper left corner technology previews enable collaborative proofing so i did show that earlier Okay, so now let's pop over to, well, it did that on the web, that's great, but let's pop over to Lightroom and actually see it. So if I go to Lightroom and I scroll all the way down to the bottom, let me get, let me close up some of this. We don't need to see the travel albums. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, there it is, my client picks. The album that was created from the web is now on my desktop, on my phone, on my iPad. It's everywhere now, every, and including Lightroom Classic. So if you're using uh syncing smart previews in the lightroom classic it would be there as well so now i don't have to keep it outside i can move it wherever i want so i could move it into demo i could move it into current work i can move it wherever i want it to be just by dragging it and putting it where i want it to be so now it's in my current work folder or collection set in classic and here they are so i know which ones my client want i can retouch print whatever we've now agreed on now that they've picked their 10. Um, so that is how the client proofing works. And now whenever you're done, you can go back to that album. You can go back to the proofing. Oh, that's the wrong one. Let's go back to go back. I picked the, the new album, not the old one. Let's go back to the old one, which was the Hilton Head. And right now, it even shows me at the very bottom there that that one's got proofing turned on. If, I were, if I'm done with that now and my client's giving me what I want, I can always come in and turn off the proofing. So now that one will no longer be set up for proofing. The link is disabled, doesn't work anymore, good to go. Okay, so um, that is in a nutshell how to do client proofing with a client in Lightroom. In May, I did it with Classic. Today, we're doing it with the Lightroom uh, formerly known as Lightroom CC, the cloud version based on desktop, web, mobile, no matter where you start your album, you can go share it and then or you can go do proofing on the web. So hopefully you got something out of that and hopefully you can now work with your client. And again, just send the links out. They can either create an Adobe ID or if you if they just can't handle that, you can make one for them. But I would suggest encouraging them to make their own. That way, You'll know, it'll be their name up there. You'll know who chose them, so forth and so on. All right, so with that said, I want to thank everyone for joining me here on Lightroom Thursday. Uh, feel, or definitely follow the Lightroom Facebook page, so facebook.com slash Lightroom, uh, so you can get not only my live streams, but all the great content that they put on that page on a daily, if not weekly basis. Uh, there's Lightroom Quick Tips. There's Lightroom Coffee Breaks. There's all kinds of great Lightroom content on the Facebook page dedicated to Lightroom. So thanks, everybody. Catch you on the next one. Bye, everybody.